Hello everyone, welcome in this tutorial. The agenda of this tutorial setting up a Java environment in VS Code. And guys, the steps are very easy. I will explain you everything in detail. Let's get started. I have already mentioned two steps which are the most important step in this tutorial. So first we have to look into these. So first of all, we have to update our VS Code to the version 1.49.3 which is most important and we have to download the open JDK version 11 to set up the Java runtime in VS Code. So we will see every step. In the first step, we just go to the help menu item and uh, go to the about option. Click on it and you will see the Visual Studio Code version. If your Visual Studio Code version is not 1.49, then you have to go for check for updates. Click on it and then Visual Studio Code will ask you to update. Just click on the update button and this will be updated to the latest version. Then we will proceed on the step 2. In the step 2, we have to download the OpenJDK. To do that, the same thing. We have to visit the menu item view and then go to the command palette. Click on it and then this uh, search box will appear. Here you have to type configure Java runtime. Once you click, an option will appear. You have to select this one. And then a new tab will appear. Under this uh, Java development kit, there are several Java environments detected. But these are not in use. I have already removed that pre-installed to prepare this tutorial. In some cases, some of you guys have a JDK from the Oracle and that will be det detected. But we have to change that one and come inside at this install section here uh, this is a download button just click on it to download the open jdk 11.0.8 here we go and this pop-up box will appear click on this open button to start downloading this will be redirected to the browser and your downloading will start once the downloading is done we have to launch this exe file click on it to launch the installer and here we go you will see very first screen like this click on the next then accept the license agreement click on the next then click again next and finally click on this install button to start the installation here we go all files are going to be copied on your system this will take maximum 30 seconds or more this is finished click on finished and guys, uh, the installation is done. Now we have to set up Java runtime for VS Code. That means we have to uh, change the value of the Java underscore home environment variable. Okay. So first we have to copy the path of the installation location. And the OpenJDK you will find inside the program files. Then uh, this folder adopt OpenJDK go inside and here you will see the JDK folder. Copy this path. Now we will go inside the environment variable. Now go to the this PC click right click click on the properties. And uh, here click on this advanced settings and this system properties window will appear on the bottom side. Just have to click on this environment variable button and right here you will get Java underscore home. So guys, we have to change the value that we have copied. So the copied value is the new location of the installed open JDK. And you can see the location is up to only JDK folder. That's it. Click OK to close everything. So guys, we have half done. Now, the last thing we have to do, we have to restart this Visual Studio code to take everything in effect. Here we go for the Visual Studio Code and I'm going to relaunch it and this is loaded. Now we will verify that our setup is properly done or not. Go to the view, then go to the command palette, then again type the configure Java runtime. And uh, under this section, you will see at point number three, the location of uh, the open JDK has been detected under this environment variable Java underscore home. That means Visual Studio Code now aware about this is the JDK 11. Now we can uh, verify 
that our setup is proper or not again we have to go to the command palette then here you have to type create java project and you will see this option click on it once once you click something will start in the background you can see here the rotating uh, icon this is showing that the some important settings has been imported from the JDK because we have a uh, first time running this so this will import some uh, important setting and this is preparing your Visual Studio code first time to run your Java program this will take uh, maximum 30 40 seconds for proper and very soon you will see some messages on this terminal that uh, refreshing Maven model initializing workspace uh, updating indexes and something is done something is done very soon you will see a drop down there you have some options to create a project of different kind Maven project spring boot micro profile and other so we will choose no build tools click on it once and uh, then this will ask you for a project creation location so I have selected the already created folder test in your case you can create a new folder and then put all your projects that you are going to create with the Visual Studio and right here now it's time to give the name to our Java project so give the name of your Java project but everything will be in a small case just click enter and then this will set up your project inside the Visual Studio code you can see on the left hand side in the Explorer my project is hello Sam and now this is created and uh, we got one SRC folder and one is a lib folder inside the SRC folder we have a ready-made file so a small class uh, the app is written and uh, public static void man method is available and we have a system dot out dot print ln method inside it and we simply printing hello world so to test it and uh, I will do a small change so I have uh, added some text right here and going to save it then I will uh, click on the run so run activity involve the compilation and then the execution of uh, this program go here click on this button to run this in few seconds you will see some progress and this uh, terminal window will appear in front of you and uh, you will see the messages like Windows PowerShell and uh, something start appearing on uh, this now the activity is going on your Java program going to be run and finally you will get the console output hello cool IT help this Java program executed successfully inside Visual Studio code under the Java environment so guys this is the simplest way you can set up your uh, Java environment in Visual Studio code I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful and guys please like this tutorial also please subscribe my channel and guys for now thanks for watching cool IT help